This presentation is entitled Exponents, a little math review of the subject. Squares, the square number means to multiply it once by itself. For example, the square of 2 is 4. We use the superscript 2 to denote a square, that is 2 raised to the 2 power, or 2 to the 2, is 2 times 2 equals 4. Let's find some simple squares. 3 squared is 9. Um, 5 squared is 25. Uh, 20 squared is uh, 400. And you can do these. So far we've squared only positive integers. We can square any real number, like the decimal number 2.9 squared is 8.41. Or the negative number minus 6.4 squared is plus 40.96. Notice that a negative number squared is always positive, since minus times minus is equal to plus in algebra. Okay, let's square some more numbers. Um, here are some for you to do. This uh, concerns the, uh, the notation used for exponents. Uh, the number that is raised to a power is called a base number. And, um, the, um, uh, the exponent, the number that the base is raised to, is called the exponent. In our case, n equals 2. And a can be um, any real number, except um, 0. Um, actually, it could be equal to 0. 0 raised to the any power is 0. So, um, but, um, and it can be, um, in some cases, a negative number. And we're going to see some examples like that. Squaring is not only the, it's not the only exponential operation. We can also cube any real number. Cubing a number means multiplying a number by itself twice. The, the name cube comes from uh, the three sides of, uh, say, a, a single die. For example, the cube of 2 is 2 times 2 times 2 and it represents the volume of a cube, which is equal to 8. Now, we use the superscript 3 to denote a cubic, that is 2 to the third is 2 times 2 times 2, which is equal to 8. Here's some examples uh, that you can do. What happens when we cube a negative number? That's the negative base case that I brought up. The cube of a negative number is always negative because it's a negative times a negative is a positive times another negative is a negative. For example, minus 5 cubed is minus 125. Here's some negative numbers for you to cube. Why do we use parentheses around negative numbers that we exponentiate? Because the parentheses indicate that the minus sign is squared or cubed along with the number value. That means that parentheses minus 2 squared equals 4. If we write minus 2 squared without the parentheses, however, we would be saying minus the square of 2, not the square of minus 2. So minus 2 squared is minus 2 times 2 equals minus 4, not 4. If you're using your critical thinking or questioning skills, you might already have guessed that we can use exponents other than 2 or 3. In fact, we can use an exponent of any real number, including fractional, decimal, negative, and positive numbers. How do we find the value of 2.35 to the 1.5 power? Not so long ago, we used something called the table of logarithms. It's a big book with a bazillion numbers in it, and uh, you have to leap through these pages to find uh, the logarithm of um, the number that uh, you're searching for. We still use these tables, but today we can use a scientific calculator to easily evaluate these kinds of exponential expressions. The study of, of logarithms, which is very important in, in many technical applications, including electrical engineering or electrical technology, um, is really a, a subject that, um, that's taught in uh, our college algebra courses. Use your calculator to find uh, these um, expressions. What surprises you about um, 
your results. Radicals, they're sometimes called roots. Um, a square root of a number, 4, is actually one of two equal factors. For instance, the square root of 4 is equal to 2. Um, a radical, or a square root, is a number, of course. It's, it's the number which, um, uh, when multiplied by itself, would give you the number 4. Where 2 times 2 is 4, so it's kind of putting the, the exponential notation in the reverse. Actually, the square root of 2 could be plus or minus 2, because minus 2 times minus 2 is also equal to 4. The symbol square root is used as called a radical symbol. It can be used to denote a principal root of a number, such as the cube root of 27. Here we have the cube root of 27 is equal to 8. So it's an inverse way of writing exponents. Can the cube root of a number be negative? Something for you to think about. A little thought question. An exponent of one-half means the same thing as taking a square root. This is very important, especially if you're using a calculator. It can really, really save some time and energy and make less mistakes by using fractional exponents. A negative exponent indicates that we must find the reciprocal of the result we would obtain if the sign of the exponent were positive. An example is 4 to the minus 2 would be 1 divided by 4 squared or 1 16th, which is equal to 0 0.0625 in decimal form. It's difficult to use radical signs on a PC. A symbol can be found under math symbols, symbols, but it's time consuming to insert it. Um, it takes three uh, click operations and the movement, actually, of the, of the mouse position. Fortunately, we can express radicals in exponential form. Here, the nth root of top capital M is capital N to the 1 divided by N. An example would be 27 to the 1 third equals 3. It follows, then, that since um, x to the minus a is 1 divided by x to the a, x to the minus 1 divided by a is 1 divided by the root, the eighth root of x. Here are some numbers with negative exponents that you can uh, you can find the solutions to. Uh, there are some other cases involving exponents we should mention. Uh, several of these are extremely important. The number raised to the plus 1 exponent is the value of the number unchanged. 3.4 to the 1 power is 3.4. Our number raised to the exponent minus 1 is the reciprocal 1 over the number. 3.4 to the minus 1 is 1 divided by 3.4, which turns out to be, using a nice calculator, 0.2941176476. Or if A is another negative power, the reciprocal to the absolute power, 3.4 to the minus 2, for instance, would be 1 divided by 3.4 squared, which is a whole lot less than 0.294. Any number raised to the zero power is always equal to plus 1. If you're going to remember one thing from this pre presentation, this comes up, believe me, and it's a very common error. Anything raised to the zero power is 1, not the value, 3.4. 3.4 to the zero is equal to 1. In the case of a fractional exponent, the base number is raised to the power of the numerator and then rooted to the power of the denominator. Negative and fractional exponential expressions can be easily evaluated on a calculator, and use of decimal equivalence is easily done and perfectly acceptable. Here's an application. These applications you can read through. I'm not going to walk through them. They're basically physics applications, but they're worthy of your attention and, and your study. So uh, take a look at these. It's not that we're trying to teach you about falling bodies, but um, these kinds of things come up in electrical engineering and in electronics technology as well. So you can read through these on, at your and. For you, I would be doing...